I have seen lot of people get confused between masquerade attack versus eavesdropping. Both are belong to MITM attack, which is happening on the layer 2 and layer 3 of the OSI model. You will be surprised to know that this is also one of the interview question which is asked by the people. So let's understand the thin line difference. So first is basically called as a masquerade attack. In this attack, suppose there is a system A and system B. They're communicating. So attacker, what it does, they intercept the information, they capture the authentication piece and resend to the server to gain access. What they capture here is example like whenever you're trying to connect with the server, server basically asks for the password. So when you enter username and password, that password is basically converted into the hash and it's sent to the server for access. When server receive the hash, they compare the hash with the stored hash and that is how they verify the authentication. Here what attacker does is attacker capture the hash and resend the same hash to the server. It is same like you know you want to have a club entry and you got the pass from some source. So one guy got the pass, he went inside, he had a party, he came outside, he gave the batch to you and then you have reused and access the particular club and bar. That's why nowadays we have a uh, this is called a tattoo system, stamp system. So you cannot copy paste, right? Same thing here. Every time now, whenever authentication requests happen, they will basically send with a random value. So every time we have a unique hash. So that is why nowadays it is not possible to perform the replay attack. But in this attack, they capture the hash and present the same hash to the server and by which they gain access. So this is what is called as a masquerade attack. And it is also called as an active attack. But on the other side, there is another attack which is basically called as a eavesdropping which is also called as a sniffing attack where the attacker convert his network interface card into the promiscuous mode and start monitoring the traffic in this case he will not hijack in this case he will not capture and recent he will remain passive and intercept the information you can say like that overall both attack start with the sniffing first monitoring and when it become passive from there it become active by capturing the uh, hash value and recent and it is basically lead to the masquerade attack and by this way it directly compromising the confidentiality and integrity so this is all from my side hope you find this video useful and do let me know in the comment box the feedback about this video bye